All right, now I'm going to show you several tools to kind of strengthen your workflow a little bit. And now we're going to start getting into changing forms, one form into the next, and how to get shapes. Okay. Okay, certainly that you saw that almost everything in the world can be created out of a box. Okay, based upon the last lesson, I showed you how to make an X-Wing. Okay, it had a lot of different forms on it, it had a very uniqueness, and it all started from a box or a couple boxes. So we can now rule out these primitives as useful. We don't have to need to know the cone, the pyramid, uh, the polypipe is useless. But uh, what I wanted to show you is several techniques and things you can do with a box. Okay. So, shaping the box, changing it into another form. All right, so I'm going to make a couple duplicates of this box just so, you know, I can have these as reference points. So, where you insert an edge loop is very important. Where you put an extrude is very an important thing. We learned that in the last lesson. How you brace an item. What we didn't cover are unique things. Like, let's say, for instance, I needed to make a hollow cylinder. Okay? Well, if I, if I take one face and extrude it in, just like that, and then take all the faces, except for the very top part, and delete them, and then take this face and delete it, I have this. It is very important that you turn on wireframe or no wait, back face calling. That way I can show you exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm going to grab this in object mode and extrude it. And please note what I do here is use the blue arrow up. And I have this, a hollow box. Now, if I went the other way, watch what happens. Okay, so whenever you're extruding an entire part, it's very important to note, always use the blue arrow up, not down, or you'll flip the normals. And I'll go into what normals are here shortly. Okay, normals indicate which direction the face is headed. If you go into object mode and go display polygon face normals, you'll see that the normals are facing out. This is good. If they're facing in, the part will look hollow. Normals are very important. Inside Maya, things look solid until you turn on back face culling, and it closely mimics other programs. Anything I port out of Maya into another program, the law states that if the normals are pointed inward, the part will look hollow. Okay. Outward, solid. All right, so I made a hollow, hollow cylinder. And how I did that is I went in here to insert edge loop, and I can insert an edge loop here, 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 and here. And if I hit three, I get this, okay? Which means if I went mesh smooth, I would get a close representation of that part. And there is my hollow cylinder. To turn off the display, you have to go back in here and go to face normals, and it turns it off. So in some cases, you'll be making a hollow cylinder for things. So keep note on how to make that. It is much different to make a hollow cylinder than a box with a hole in it, which happens all the time also. So let's look at that oddball scenario. In this case, I'm going to brace the outside edges of the square so the form doesn't collapse in on itself. Okay. And then I'm going to take the face and extrude it in. And what will happen here, if I go mesh smooth, 
you'll see that the outside stays true, but the inside does not. Well, what happens? Well, if I go, let's say I make a hollow box. Do I want to sit here and try to make a face on the inside? No. Let's use, let's use common reasoning for this. If I take all the faces on this box and delete all the faces that make up um, the outside edge of the box, like this, and this is a little hard sometimes to highlight those, but if I look at the top part now, I have the top part not highlighted because I used the side to actually highlight the box. And it goes all the way around just fine, just like that. And I can delete it. I can also delete this hole. And then I could take this item and then extrude it with the blue arrow. But this time I'm going to go to the move command and pay close attention that I go up. There we go. We have a box with a hole in the inside. And it's pretty much all braced except for the fact that I have to insert now an edge here and an edge here. Okay. An edge here and an edge here. So there we go. If I hit three box with a perfect hole in the center just about all right please move on to the next video where i cover some more